everybody on here and coming to you with this month's video. As you can see, I'm still in winter gear at the end of April because here in Maine, spring doesn't hit until May. <laughs> we had a great little dusting storm last night and you know, I still even have a few uh, snow flurries coming down here, but um, really great. Nice crisp morning. Good morning to be out. But I wanted to talk with you this month a little bit about how to get what you want by letting go of what you want. And I think that this is going to be really valuable for people. Jessie had done some similar things several years ago when she was first cutting videos and uh, somebody reminded me of this and I thought wow this really fits in with our codes right now because our codes we're in this period of time that's not just a day or a week or a month but we're in a whole phase of multiple years that is about um, releasing things and letting go things and letting things come to an end and transformation and transitions and the unexpected and all of these you know, amazing pieces that we're going through in our world today. And, you know, we can look at them as horrible things or we can look at them as really amazing things. And, and that perspective shift can make a big, big difference in what happens in our life, what goes on in our life. And I feel like I've noticed there's a lot of people there feeling a lot of struggle, a lot of challenges, a lot of pain, a lot of fear, a lot of uh, just a whole bunch of different things, stress and anxiety, because of having to let go of things. And that's natural. It's natural because we're dealing with unknown factors. We're dealing with pieces that we're going into unfamiliar territory and we're having to step more into hope and into trust. And this is exactly what our world needs right now. This is exactly the ways that we can help the world from our own individual self, which is incredibly powerful to do at this time. And we wonder, you know, how do we get out of this mess we're in? Well, we get out of it by being in the space of kindness. We get out of it through a process of being in gentle strength. And there's a lot of cultures and a lot of belief systems that really value and believe in this and it's right in line with the aspects of compassion and so when we look at these pieces we want to come around and to consider why is what I'm getting not coming through I hear this a lot from people you know they say I really want to make the world a better place or I really want to achieve this dream or I really just want to get along with this person and boy over the last year or so we've had a lot of relationships in particular that have dissolved that have dissipated that have gone astray and there's a lot of different reasons for this right because some of them weren't what we thought they were some of them were um, not in the space that they were presenting that they were. Some of them couldn't grow with us. Some of them got stuck in different places. And I feel like a lot of people have been feeling that, like, I'm stuck. I'm not sure where to go. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> and I really, really, really want to make this thing happen. But in this video, I want us to consider the aspect of what happens when we let go of something, especially something that's really close and dear to our heart, right? Because we think when we let go, that's it, that's done, there's no more. And it's such a final thing to us. And it doesn't have to be. When we let go, it's this concept of setting something free. And yes, that old saying comes right back up, right? When you set something free, if it's yours, it'll come back to you, blah, 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 blah. And we're familiar with that phrase. But this goes into a much deeper space than just that. It's, it's a lot more than that. When we let go of something, we remove the force. And when we remove the force, we remove the competition. When we remove the competition, what we are doing is inviting in divine spirit. And when we divide, invite in divine spirit, we now can receive things in the best possible way. And this is the key because what happens in our world, for example, today is 
we have all this division going on and all this hate going on between people and they're so busy arguing and they're so busy competing and they're so busy trying to force their opinions on each other and we've got to let this go because we are never going to get those common pieces that we want in the world the common pieces of getting along the common pieces of being free to travel and to see things and to do things in the world to interact with people to have incredible relationships with people and we're never going to get there until we let go until we let go of forcing our opinion on people until we let go of having to have things a certain way and you see when we're trying to manifest something and we get these goals we get so set on this is what's got to be and this is how it's got to come about and I'm not going to look at anything else so we get the blinders on right <laughs> we're there and it's like and how much do you see I can't see everything around me I can only see this little teeny tiny piece in front of me and when we do that we're restricting ourselves when we restrict ourselves we get angry we get hate inside of us we get um, components that are just very combative and we go into battle and we might not even know that we're in battle but we're in battle and once we do this we remove we remove or change the space out of divine presence and when we do that we can't bring anything in we can't create the openings we can't make the progression when we're in this space and this is exactly why those that want to have a lot of control will you know whether it's people in our life situations in our life corporations in our life they will do everything to keep this competition this division this hatred between people going because that's how somebody who is controlling or abusive will keep their power so to say so what happens is when we let go we're stepping into the space of trust we're stepping into hope we're saying yep I would love for this to happen but now I'm going to open up my possibilities to a lot of different things and when we talk about this in regards to people in particular what we find is that again we open the space of freedom so when we're trying to force our opinion on somebody or we're trying to force things to be a certain way we're actually blocking it from coming to us we're actually resisting it from getting to us we're actually throwing up walls that it can't get through so in this releasing process we're actually coming into a space of acceptance and we're saying look I'm gonna accept you <laughs> for you who you are what your opinions are because when we come from gentle strength we understand that everything has value we understand that every voice counts and when we are really fighting for the important things that are of value then and I don't like that word actually fighting but when we're standing up for things of value and we're standing up for things that are important to us okay um, then we need to open that space up we need to open it up and we need to be able to accept all viewpoints and to look at what the key factors are and look at the key components because if we get down to it if we get down to the qualities of things we're really striving for the same things we're really we're really striving for the same things and we really want the same things in life we really want these beautiful existences we really want harmonious relationships but what we do is we get distracted in the material pieces of creating instead of focusing on the values so once we let go of something it brings us back into allowing the values to come up it brings us back into the core and when we talk about people and we talk about well letting go of people we've had to let go of a lot of people or relationships are ending at this time and it's not that this is a, a finite absolute thing it's about you saying this is what works for me this is what doesn't work for me I'm gonna accept what works for you and what doesn't work for you and right now those might not be on the same path so I'm gonna let you go I want you to be free to pursue what you need to pursue for yourself and to 
to take your path and to honor your journey. So this letting go is really about honoring somebody else's journey and it's about honoring your journey at the same time. And this is true whether it's people, whether it's situations, whether it's things that we're trying to create. Because once we remove the restriction, once we remove the wall, now we can allow it to happen. And we're not restricting it to happen in a particular way we're giving it many options. We're giving it whatever options to come through. So it doesn't mean that you stop necessarily striving towards what you want, but what you're doing is you're opening it up so that it can actually get to you. You're opening the space up for it to come through. And I think that this is so important today in our world. I think that, that again, whether we're talking people or situations or personal goals, this letting go piece is about gentle strength because when we let go, we're, we're working on a conscious level. We're working from a space of awareness. We are working from a space of kindness and from love. And when we work from kindness and love, anything can happen. And these are the pieces that we've forgotten. And when we're feeling hate, when we're feeling anger, when we're feeling frustration, it's a really sure sign that we're feeling restricted. And we have to ask ourselves, why are we feeling restricted? Why are we feeling this confinement? And we'd like to blame it on everything that is outside of ourselves, right? We'd like to maybe blame it on the world circumstances or this happening or that happening or that person because they see something different because they're not doing things the way that we want but when we let it go we're releasing the control we're releasing the control and that can be very scary for people that can be very challenging for people because now they've got to step into what they consider the unknown but is it really the unknown I don't think it is because when we let go of control the peace that we come to know is that anything is possible anything is possible because we freed ourselves from the restrictions we've stood our ground and we've said i am honoring these values i am honoring these pieces and if it means that it comes through channel a or channel b or channel c that's okay i need to let it come through in the way that is blessed i need to let it come through in the way that is the best way that it can come through. So when I take a look and I say, okay, I've got restrictions here. I've got to let go of controlling this situation. I've got to keep taking the steps that I can take, but releasing it all. And this is where with people, you can release them in kindness. You can still be kind. You don't have to release them under an argument or under all of this hate. You can just stop giving your energy to it. You can stop saying, I'm going to not play this game anymore. Um, and, and I think this is so important, so critical for our world. And I hope this helps you out because it's only when we're willing to let go of what is blocking us. It's only when we're letting go of the force, of the control, of the desire to have things a certain way, the desire to get people to see our point of view. The key is not whether they want to take our point of view or not. I mean, what happens is our heart is so in it, right? Because you think, I love this person and I want them to be part of my journey. But sometimes we have to accept that maybe they're not meant to be part of our journey. And when we do the letting go, that's when we can find out whether they can or can't be part of that journey. And there's no right or wrong in that. There's no, there's no need to hate, and yes, that can be a little painful, but consider what happens, again, if you let it go. If you let go that a loving relationship has to come through that person, or a successful thing can only happen through a certain company or through an organizational structure. I mean, we, we've got successes every single day, right? But until we're willing to let go, until we're willing to step into that vulnerability, until we're willing to come into the soul's wisdom and say, 
the only place, the place that's the most powerful for me to receive what I'm trying to get is that space of openness, that space of saying, I don't have to completely know it all. I don't have to know every little piece that's going to happen. I just need to be aware and alert so that I can maximize the opportunities when they come in. And whatever wants to fit in with that, great. And whatever doesn't want to fit in with that, then I honor that choice. And I will gently and I will kindly let them be who they are. Okay? The more we try to force things, the more we come from this competition space, the more we are in this battle, the more people are going to resist. We're actually blocking things from getting to people. You know, we, so many people, I hear them today, it's like, I just want them to know the truth. I just want them to, well, yes, because the truth is the soul's way, right? But isn't there truth in everything? And when we try to force a particular viewpoint on somebody, we're actually throwing up blocks and resistances and making them feel like, yeah, I can't, I can't even listen to you. So the key again is like, this is what I'm going to put out. This is what's in my heart. This is what's here. This is the way I'm going to be. This is what works for me. And then I will love and appreciate everything that comes into that. And I don't need to hate what doesn't fit into that. I can respect that that's a journey that they have to take. And our journeys are not all exactly the same. They're all a little bit different. We all have our own journeys going on, even when we've got this collective journey going on in the world. So I'm really interested to hear your thoughts and hopefully you'll take a minute, like the video, um, maybe share it out. That would be awesome if you do, because I always love when we can reach this information out to people because I know this is gonna help a lot of people out there. So don't be afraid to share it. Don't be afraid to get this message out that, hey, it's okay to be kind, even when the mass mindset says you gotta hate everybody. You don't have to hate everybody. We all are looking for a little kindness. And those that are the most bitter, the most resistant right now are the ones that most need love. And that's up to us, is just to emit the love right now, to just stand in that gentle strength because it's, it's not always just an easy space to be in, but it does take strength but we can do it in gentle, loving ways. And that is where anything can happen. That's where our possibilities lie. That is where we can turn the messes around in our life and we can learn from the past and we can move forward in new directions and, and bring in new opportunities that are powerful and exciting and aligned with the spirit and aligned with the soul self and aligned with God. So. Again, let me know what you think. Click like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That way you won't miss any videos. Click the little message bell. I know all these tools, right, that everybody tells you. Click the little message bell down there so that you can get the messages when the new videos come out and when new things are presented. Um, if you're really into world events and political affairs and things like that, you might want to check out my Connecting Codes channel, which is another video channel that focuses specifically on world events. And um, check out the Code Journey work because the Code Journey book is amazing and it's helping us stand in this gentle strength and it's helping us to maximize our possibilities and open up and to find the things that are near and dear to us. So that's it for this month. Take care everybody and I hope you have an amazing time and check it out. CompassionCodes.com by the way is where you can check out the Code Journey work. See you next month.